Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. The giant fallout regarding the Sal Grover versus the biological man identifying as being a woman known as Roxanne Tickle has been rather enormous and rather immense. Now, we've got a lot to cover today, so I'm going to do my best to cover as much as possible. And if I miss anything, then I'll be making another video to finish off what I missed. The judge yesterday said that sex is changeable. And obviously a lot of people were scratching their heads going, what the hell are you talking about? But the judge set a very dangerous precedent here in Australia. Australia is, it's been changed forever. This is the first ever court case that has gone before a federal court in regards to a biological woman versus a biological man identifying as a woman. And well, lo and behold, as we already know, the judge, his verdict was quite clear. The woman has no right anymore. She has no uh, legal standing whatsoever. And the judge actually said that sex is not, is sex is changeable. So that just flies in the face of science and biology and everything that we knew to be true. It's still true, by the way, just because a judge says that it's not doesn't change the fact that biology and science still exist and it still is applicable today. It just means that the law has somehow uh, negated science and forgotten that science exists, stupidly enough. So a lot of people have been commenting, a lot of people have uh, voiced their concerns and I'm glad that they have. Now, the mainstream media have done a terrible job in reporting this, as you can obviously imagine, because, well, this flies in the face of all women everywhere. They know that it does, but they want to be polite and they want to prop up the biological man that was victimized or seemingly this biological man, Roxanne Tickle, is acting like a victim at the moment. Roxanne wants everybody to know that, hey, if you're a transgender person, you can win. And the judge just made it very, very clear. He signaled to every single person out there that wants to identify as being a woman, if you're a biological man, you can win against a woman. If you do not like a woman and you think that they've discriminated against you, which opens you up to so many things, man. It's a very, very, uh, very gray area, if you ask me. It's a, it's a, yeah, it doesn't work. But nevertheless, the mainstream media said that this whole idea of gender identity and gender ideology has been up for debate. It's in a, it's in a gray area, but a federal court judge apparently put it in black and white. No, what he did was essentially he took the gray and removed the black and white that we've known to be true for a long time and replaced it with the gray. He said that the gray is more important now in a court of law than actually black and white simple stuff that we've known since the beginning of time, there are only men and there are only women. But now a man can go, I feel like a woman, so therefore that must be so. And alas, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the law says so. Now, the reason why we are in this mess in the first place in Australia is because the law was changed to reflect that anyone with a gender identity, the problem with gender identity or identity nonsense is the fact that it changes it's nothing concrete. You can't have a functioning society or law system when you've got something that is fluid. It's not going to actually be set in stone. You need a law to go, all right, I can see this as real justice, not something that someone has chosen to identify with and, and let's go along with that. That doesn't work. It has never worked and it cannot work. Because then you take over the rights of that actual biological sex you're meant to be protecting. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, this federal court judge thought otherwise. Because the law that was changed under Julia Gillard, who happens to be, funny enough, a woman that doesn't even know what a real woman is, when asked, she had no idea. They're playing political, ideological mumbo jumbo nonsense that doesn't work in a healthy functioning society in fact it is quite damaging and quite harmful to the likes of real women everywhere but hey if the law dictates that a man can be better than a woman let it be so right no i don't think that is right fair or just at all do you let me know in the comments what you think but 
Anyway, Rachel Walton goes, Sal Grover believes no human being has or can change sex, which is the pillar of gender critical ideology. This is from the BBC. The entire world was watching this case. And the entire world is laughing and quite concerned. JK Rowling was all in favor for Sal Grover. Now she's not happy. Why? Because a woman lost against a man claiming to be a woman. That says a lot. It really does. So this whole notion of gender critical ideology, what is that exactly? Uh, I am critical over the fact that someone wants to choose to identify as something they're not. So you can't be critical. Oh, okay. But you're forgetting BBC news that, um, uh, we're, we're missing something really important here and that's biological reality. You're forgetting that. It's like everyone has just forgotten that biology exists. Science exists. Okay. We're not going to acknowledge that anymore. Pauline Hansen of One Nation goes, transgender woman, Roxanne Tickle, has won a novel gender identity case brought against a woman's only social media app and its owner, uh, Arthur Roxanne, was excluded from the platform. I know this is a quote, but I'm not going to repeat the pronoun. Federal Court Justice Robert Bromwich. Again, I'll say it. Robert, you should be ashamed of yourself. Well done for changing Australia as we know it and making it um, a very dangerous place now for all women everywhere. Funny how it's a man that claims to be married to a woman. Funny how he's the one that made the ultimate decision to destroy women's rights and make it significantly dangerous. Found giggle for girls and its owner, Sound Grover, had ind indirectly discriminated against uh, Tickle and ordered... Sal to pay the applicant $10,000. Now, Roxanne was seeking $200,000 plus damages and everything else. I guess $10,000 is a lot better than $200,000. But Sal said in a, a current affair interview that she spent over 1.4, 1. 1 point something along those lines, million dollars trying to defend herself and trying to defend the likes of real women everywhere. She's fighting not just for herself, but for women. While she was also, this, this stuff was going on, she was pregnant with her, her now daughter, two years old. So people need to understand that this stuff isn't just about one woman. One woman is, has been thrown up in the mix, but it's not just about her. It's about every single woman and girl that is about to turn into a woman. It's the, our future, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why you got Sal Grover fighting on the front line She's going to appeal and, if necessary, take this to the highest court in Australia. But personally, I am I'm not confident that she's going to win in the highest court in the land because, once again, if you, can't, if you don't change the law, you're screwed. The law is what governs all of us, right? So if the law dictates something, and the court of law has to follow it, right? Otherwise, it's not claimed to be proper justice. And you can end up in a great deal of hurt. But the thing is, even though the federal court has followed the law that was changed to suit gender identity, I personally don't take that into account as part of being the law because it's fluid. I don't think the law is supposed to be fluid, ladies and gentlemen. Gender identity is not something I would recognize under the law because identity is something that doesn't really count. for a, It's not a lawful thing. Identity can't be because it changes one minute to the next. You can't follow along with it. Anyway, I've said that before. Um, so Andrew Gold goes, the verdict on the world's biggest woman's safety and gender woo-woo is in, and it's really bad and effing insane. Said it, mate. And I like this. Miss Testicle. I think this is fantastic. This actually made my day. <laughs> when I saw this. Um, so Jennifer Billick goes, tickle versus giggle. The good news is there are no illusions left. For those who have been holding out hope for persuasion about what women are up against, it's been laid bare. There's no hiding it anymore. 
Andrew Amos says he's a psychiatrist, by the way. As a psychiatrist, it is clear that if tickle versus giggle is re- legally sound, which I don't believe it is, then our society must be sick. So I think it has been sick for a long time, and this just proves that we're we've jumped off the cliff quite considerably. Unwilling women like South Grover can now be compelled to deny the reality of their experiences to accommodate the preferences of men like Roxanne Tickle. Now I want to show you guys something rather interesting because this is after the verdict was handed down by Bromwich, the judge. Case and the unlawful and discriminatory exclusion from the Giggle app has stolen the last three years of my life. I've been targeted by hateful and online commentary and degrading merchandise designed to ridicule and mock me. There is so much hate and bile cast on trans and gender diverse people simply because of who we are. Sometimes it's difficult to remember that not all people are like that. When I walked into the courtroom for the hearing in April, I felt safe because I was treated with courtesy and respect and allowed to tell my story. I'm pleased by the outcome of my case and I hope it is healing for trans and gender diverse people. The ruling shows that all women are protected from discrimination. I brought my case to show trans people that you can be brave and that you can stand up for yourself. So this person starts off by saying unlawful has stolen the last three years of this person's life. What a giant baby. This person is claiming that a woman kicked him off the platform, which is rightfully true, rightfully so. Women have the right to do that, but evidently not in the parent court of law now. And this person is going, oh, because a woman kicked me off the platform, it's stolen the last three years of my life. Get a life for one. Secondly, you've got to be kidding. This is classic victim status mentality on full display look at me i was hard done by by an actual woman me the man i was hard done by have some sympathy and have some pity for me sorry mate not gonna happen i don't like it when you rail over the fact that you beat a woman and then you claim to be a victim straight after it that is just disgusting despicable behavior don't even say that stuff because you deserve it that's why you're not a woman Get it through your thick skull. You're not a woman. Just because you identify as one does not make you one. This whole, I, ugh, I've been mocked, ridiculed, online hate, all that sort of stuff. I want to see receipts, please. It's great for you to say it. Oh, but where are the receipts, mate? Show us, please. I would love to see them because they always seem to say, oh, I've been targeted by online hate. Show us, please, simply because who we are, not what you are, who you are, who you have decided to be. What you are is a biological man. You'll always be a man. Get that through your thick skull too. Who you are, I don't even know who the hell you are, but you think you're something that you're actually not. And it's clear as day, we're all starting to see exactly your true colors. You hate women, even though you claim to be a woman. And it's also interesting how the judge goes transgender women are included in the definition of woman now. So that's absurd. But nevertheless, you've got to put trans in front of woman. In order for a man to become a woman, you've got to put trans. Why not just have woman? Again, it makes no sense. Please, somebody make it make sense. If the law can't make it make sense, who the hell can? Crocodile tears. I'm getting sick and tired of like you're acting all emotional. This is the perfect act, man. Like the perfect victim status. Look at me. I've been uh, done, done by. I was kicked off an all female dating app. Show some, show some respect, damn it. I got none. I got no sympathy, no respect for people like this at all. I shouldn't be forced to have any sympathy or respect either. Of course you're pleased by the outcome of your case because you won. The man won and destroyed women in the process. Well done, sunshine. Well done. The entire bloody world was watching on too. 
And so if you think that you're right, oh, mate, you've got another thing coming. One thing you don't want to do is piss off millions of women because that's what you've done. No, it's not. Because an actual woman wasn't protected from discrimination from you. She wasn't protected at all from being taken to court and losing in court. So don't say that statement, mate, because it's inaccurate. What you should have said is that the ruling shows that trans people or biological men are, are protected from discrimination if a woman was to do that. So this person, Roxanne Tickle, brought the case before the judge, before a court, to show trans people that you can be brave and that you can stand up for yourself too, which is a very dangerous line to make, by the way, a very dangerous line because it shows that all women everywhere, not just they're stuck now with not having any safety. Now they're going to have to worry about whether or not they're going to be sued. And they'll more than likely lose. It's dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So women continue to fight. Men too continue to fight for women because we need women, real women. All this trans madness. We need real women. And we need real men to stand up and support real women. And by the way, I haven't seen many feminists speaking up about this. That's also interesting. I've seen a lot of the older feminists speaking up about it, but not some of the newer ones. Gee, I wonder why that is. And it's also going to cause a great deal of concern just finishing off uh, this video with this point. Domestic, domestic violence. You have in Australia, violence against women in Australia says no and the like of, of that, but they don't even know what a real woman is. If a court of law enables a man to claim that he is a woman and he uses that in a domestic violence case, the woman that has been abused by a biological man, that woman has got no right at all. She's not going to be safe at all. So until such time as the law reflects what actually is a woman, an adult, human, female, and men that identify as one cannot be women then we're doomed. Society's done in Australia. The rest of the world better take note. America better take note. Canada, I know it's happening everywhere, but the rest of the world better take note. Because there's no point in screaming, yelling, jumping up and down over this men abusing women if real women aren't protected because all the man has to do is claim that he's a woman and that's it. Mm, absolute insanity. And now, my friends, you take care, you be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video.